you already know the day you already know you just already know don't you hi guys it's Kara how are you I hope you're doing well okay so if you are new um, you probably don't know that I do this, but every year I do a Thanksgiving time capsule, which now that sounds really stupid. I saw someone do like a birthday time capsule where they like react, but they only did it like once and I don't even think they make YouTube videos anymore. I don't even know. I still think it's fun because so much can change in a year and this just really helps me to see that so basically what i do is i react to my thanksgiving time capsule from last year and then i will like i so like there's a pop there's like a portion where i like introduce myself and like say my age and stuff and then i ask myself questions i'm actually a little bit nervous i'm always i always get nervous but like I'm a little bit nervous because this year has been probably the worst years of my life and I probably said that last year too so hi I'm Kara nice to meet you I am 18 years old I'm a what I am a senior in high school that's about it. I like plants cats coffee and hairstyles so I just am First off, I just want to point out for my birthday, there's like a birthday cactus in the background, if you can see it. And that thing, I still have it. It only has like two leaves left, but I still like water it and stuff because, okay, so listen, I, I state that I like plants. I still like plants to this day, but I can barely take care of myself anymore. So like how can how do i expect myself to take care of plants i don't know i water them i try to water them at least once a week but that can be super hard so yeah but basically i just keep watering them and taking care of them until they're literally there's no leaves left so it's not dead until there's no leaves so that christmas cactus in the background is not dead and thank god sorry we're just gonna talk about my room for a second Thank freaking God I took all of those pictures down and put, like, my tapestry there because those pictures were freaking ugly. Like, they just look ugly. Like, not the people. I mean, some of the people in them. <laughs> my research, I have 142 subscribers. Wait. <laughs> okay, sorry. I impressed by but like a little disappointed by not that the numbers matter because hello but like i have like the recent content that i've been making has actually like been doing good which is surprising i have 115 videos as of right now so here are the questions that i have for 2021 kara where do you end up going to college did you take a gap year did you go to cmu are you at Mott? Are you at Concordia? Did you maybe, I don't know, apply to Cedarville? I don't know. So I'm not in college right now. <laughs> um, I took a gap year because I, A, don't have enough money and like money was like a big problem. And it still is to this day because but i have a budget now and it seems to be working really well and like i have like a lot of money saved so that's good um that will all go towards like me moving out and stuff so no i did not go to college and i really think i don't know the plan for next year and it really stresses me out when like my parents are always up my butt about it you know because i just like they just really want me to go to college and I can tell and I don't know like I just am not good with change at all and I've come to realize that but like I also like want to move out really bad as so far the plan is I'll go to college next year but I will be moving out but not in a dorm I'm moving in with my friend Gabby so 
that's the plan so far for right now but again plans change that might not end up working out i don't really know i applied to u of m flint so that's where i really want to go because it has a good music program i don't even know if i want to be a choir teacher anymore i want to do something with music but i don't know if teaching is for me like i don't know like i just hate that like my parents especially just expect me to like know exactly what i'm doing right now because all through high school i just always knew that i wanted to be a choir teacher i didn't know exactly where i wanted to go until like my junior year where i was like i want to go to cmu like that's where i want to go for the longest time it was saginaw valley because um i have a scholarship there but they don't have a good music program i've heard <laughs> that's just what i've heard i've had a choir teacher that went there and he's not that good so um so i don't really know and it's very stressful to not know like what the plan is especially when people are constantly asking you about it so whatever though so i don't that's just the plan for right now i i literally don't know like i yeah okay do you still talk to all of your friends now that you're in college and you've taken the step to be out of high school are you still talking to the same people like the same people that you are talking to right now <sighs> yes i have not like lost any friends or anything like oh wait yes i have sorry i have lost a friend but that's not because of college i still like talk to my friends i've grown i've grown a lot closer to larissa like a lot like she's my bestie and like I don't know, like a year ago, me and Larissa like started reconnecting again. If you watch my vlog channel, which I I don't post there at all. Channel Larissa was in some of the vlogs. But yeah, we just kind of reconnected again like last year and I think it's just gone a lot closer now and I'm really happy about that. Gabby is obviously my bestie as well. Like she's my number one. Oh yeah, but I also am like still friends with like Sarah and Gina and like all the guys too like well I'm just mostly friends with like Kaden, Ramsey, and Aiden if you guys know like if you guys watch my old videos with like all my friends I guess Hunter obviously I love Hunter so much he's an another bestie too um, I can't think what else oh and then Elena obviously so yeah I still like talk to a lot of people and i still like i don't know like those are probably like the main people that i talk to like every day but then there's also people like olivia and all my theater i haven't lost touch with anyone i think like getting out of high school kind of makes you like realize like how many like friends you actually don't have <laughs> and like people who are like actually close to you and actually just aren't like i don't know like there's school friends and then they're just real friends so, like once you get out of high school all your school friends are just kind of like bleh, you know how has counseling helped you so i kind of talked about how much it's helped me for right now but how how much how much improvement from right now did you continue counseling did you stop what's what's the deal um okay so i did stop counseling right after or like the week that i graduated high school i stopped counseling i just had a really close relationship with my therapist like he was he made me feel like like if everyone were to leave, like, he would be there. Why am I crying? This is so stupid. So then I stopped because it just sort of felt like it was just so, like, repetitive. Like, it was mostly just about, like, my social anxiety and my, like, self-confidence and finding contentment. And those were always the three stuff that we would talk about. And he helped me a lot with, like school and like college and just god <laughs> like i don't know i cried about it a lot like leaving well now i'm crying
because my parents <laughs> my parents were just so against me going to therapy for some reason I ended up just not liking it because they were like you can just talk to me like you don't need to pay money to go to a counselor so that's kind of why I stopped going to because they were just very like up my butt about it um but yeah I do miss it a lot um because I stopped talking to him after I graduated so that was like a month before everything that happened which I'll get into probably later on but yeah I just miss like that like just having someone to talk to like all the time you know because like obviously like I have my friends and stuff but it's just nice to have that you know so um I definitely like and the sad thing is is like he wanted to like stay in touch and everything and I haven't talked to him since then but like I think about him a lot and yeah like I I don't know it's just so weird that like you can grow a relationship with like your therapist like I don't know but like again like you're sharing like your whole life with them you know so Fred if you're watching this <laughs> Fred if you're watching this just let I just want to let you know I miss you a lot and we should go get Tim Hortons or something but I'm going but again he literally like changed my life like he's the reason why I'm not afraid to talk to someone on the phone or like go out you know so thank you fred for that did you make any new friends are people in college actually like sick and like chill or maybe you're not even in college and so you haven't made any new friends i don't know i don't, I don't know your i don't know your deal um how's um have i made any new friends honestly i have though because of work so <laughs> If you guys don't know, I work at Little Caesars, um, and I have, ugh, I made a lot of friends, like, Elizabeth, Layla, Kayla, Mackenzie, like, they're my work besties. How's the love life? Did you find anyone on Tinder? Did you go to Christian Mingle? Anyone in college? Did you maybe, I don't know, have a boyfriend from senior year, and then you're still with him? Because... Pfft, um, love life non-existent right now. Um, literally, no, I'm not kidding. Like non-existent right now. Um, I have not been touched by a boy. Like even like a pat on the shoulder <laughs> in like four months. Person, like I have not like seriously like talked to a boy like talking, whatever in like four months, and I think that's improvement i will say um i don't know if i'm ready to get back into like the single phase where like you're like talking to boys or like hitting out boys i don't know if i'm ready for that yeah like i still have so much so much growth to go through um so yeah no um i've had i i think i've like talked to two boys since last thanksgiving and they both did not end up very well so yeah love life non-existent okay so <laughs> my name is kara i am 19 years old i spend most of my days at work wait at work working out and hanging out with my friends. And that's about it. I like cats, um, reading, and spirituality and crystals. Okay. Um, how many subscribers do I have? I have 146. So four subscribers. I've gained four subscribers in a year. I'm very disappointed in myself, um, but also, like, whatever, like, that's fine. I don't expect to be famous. I don't expect to 
you know gain a lot of subscribers or anything like that so i'm not very mad or, or i am a little upset but whatever 139 that's actually not that bad for the questions to myself do you feel more confident do you feel like you can finally say like i love myself I'm pretty, I'm beautiful. Like, do you feel like you can fully say those things? Have you learned how to find contentment? Which is it something that Fred taught me and the goal, the end all be all goal is just finding contentment, finding that happiness, that joy, just being content with life. Like, can, did you find that? How is college? Do you like it? Have you moved out? what 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 what's happened do you feel happier on your own slash do you ever feel lonely so lately i've been just feeling like lonely not alone but like lonely and there's a difference so i need to stop feeling lonely because i'm not <laughs> and those are all the questions um okay so yeah Thank you guys for watching this. I'm sorry that Kara Ember did not, like, happen. Um, you know how it is. Yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for just even literally clicking on my videos. Like, I really do appreciate it. So, yeah. Bye. Love you.